Hey everybody, today I'm teaching you how to turn this into this. Let's get started. For this recipe, you will need rosemary, chives, basil, salt and pepper, garlic, lemon, olive oil, and fish. In this case, blue mau mau. I know many people can be nervous about eating blue mau mau, but they're a delicious table fish and an easy target with a spear gun. And this is a perfect way to cook it, as the fillets aren't always the biggest. Make sure to scale the fish if you're cooking at home. The first thing to do is wash your fish. When filleting fish, it's usually best to avoid washing the fish unless you're gonna eat it right away, as the water, fresh or salty, can give it that fishy taste that you really don't want. However, since we're cooking this whole, this is a good idea to get all the scales off it. Once you've washed it, you need to pat it dry with paper towels to ensure your seasoning will stick. With all these lovely seasonings, we wanna ensure that the fish gets the benefit of them. So cutting some lines into the side of the fish, about an inch apart, lets all of the seasoning get into the meat and really improves the flavour. The next step is to coat your fish liberally with olive oil, inside and out. This will stop the fish drying out and keep it nice and moist. Make sure you get plenty in the gut cavity and into those lines that you cut in the side of the fish. Once you have this done, get out your seasonings and get to work. I usually use fresh seasoning as it has a better flavour, but the dried stuff works great as well. Put your garlic as well as plenty of herbs, salt and pepper and lemon inside the fish's gut cavity, without the guts in preferably. Make sure the garlic is inside and not out as burnt garlic goes bitter and adds a nasty flavour. In this case, I've used rosemary, chives and basil, but there are so many combinations that work and it's always good to experiment. Don't be stingy with the seasonings and make sure you use lots of salt, pepper and lemon to maximize the flavor. Now, chuck a couple of lemon slices in there, wrap it up in tin foil and then pop it in the oven. Once in, cook for 10 to 50 minutes on bake and then pull it out. I then normally unwrap it and cook it for another few minutes under grill. Doing it this way allows the flavours to soak in while the fish is wrapped and then crisp it up a bit under the grill. Make sure you turn it while doing this. And this is the result. It smells really good and it looks pretty well cooked all the way through. So. That is perfect. Thanks heaps for watching. We've got a couple of videos in the pipeline that we're really excited for, so please make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of the awesome spearfishing videos that we hope to have coming out soon.